Part 2. Nazi Germany's Secret Missile Program The V-2 Rocket Our odyssey through the annals of wartime innovation now lands us upon the V-2 rocket, often hailed as the Vengeance Weapon 2 Inches or Virgil Tungswaffe 2. It stands as a transformative development within Nazi Germany's wartime arsenal. Delve into the labyrinthine intricacies of this revolutionary projectile. Historical Context In the early 20th century, Europe faced turmoil, economic challenges, and rapid technological progress. In the 1930s, Nazi Germany, led by Adolf Hitler, aggressively pursued military and technological advancements. Dr. Werner von Braun, a key figure in rocketry, joined the German Rocket Society in the 1920s, and rocketry was a global interest. The V-2 rocket, or Virgil Tungswaffe II, was developed in the late 1930s as a precise, long-range ballistic missile under German army supervision. Developing the V-2 posed major technical challenges, particularly in designing a powerful rocket engine, but German scientists, including von Braun, made groundbreaking progress. The Peenemünde Army Research Center on the Baltic Sea coast supported V-2 development as a central research hub. In September 1944, the V-2 rocket became operational, striking Allied sites in London. Rocket Technology Pioneering The V-2 rocket emerges as a pioneering beacon in the domain of rocketry. It was conceived and developed under the masterful guidance of Werner von Braun and his dedicated cadre of engineers. This epical achievement marked a watershed moment in the narrative of rocketry and missile technology. Operational Range and Speed The V-2 boasted a formidable operational range, extending to approximately 320 kilometers, 200 miles, and demonstrated an ability to reach altitudes surpassing 176 kilometers, 109 miles. Its sky speed exceeded 5,760 kilometers per hour, 3,580 miles per hour. Once launched, it became a virtually invulnerable enemy, impossible to intercept. Strategic Weapon The V-2's primary purpose lay in its deployment as a strategic weapon. It was meticulously designed to strike major Allied cities, including London and Antwerp, with catastrophic payloads. Its supersonic velocity and high trajectory conspired to render it a formidable challenge for the rudimentary Allied defenses of the time. Impact on Warfare Although the V-2 rocket did not have a decisive impact on the outcome of World War II, its psychological effects resonated among both Allied forces and the civilian populations in the cities it targeted. The V-2 attacks caused significant civilian casualties and damage to infrastructure. One of the most infamous V-2 attacks was on London, where hundreds of civilians were killed. Legacy in Space Exploration Post-war, many key figures from the V-2 program, including Werner von Braun, found themselves transplanted to the United States as part of Operation Paperclip. Their expertise and the wisdom garnered from the V-2 program emerged as pivotal to the development of the United States space program. This significance was most prominently demonstrated in the monumental Apollo missions, which successfully achieved humanity's first lunar landings. Human Cost The development and production of V-2 rockets came at a considerable human cost. Thousands of forced laborers, drawn from concentration camps, toiled under grueling conditions in subterranean V-2 production facilities, resulting in significant casualties. Historical Significance The V-2 rocket occupies a hallowed place in the chronicles of military technology. Its technological strides and the moral complexities entwined with its creation and deployment laid the foundation for the emergence of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, during the Cold War. This, in turn, carried profound implications for global security, preservation and restoration. Today, 
A few V-2 rockets are meticulously preserved in museums, bearing witness to both the technological achievements and ethical dilemmas of their wartime creation and use. The V-2 rocket was not only a watershed in the history of military technology, pushing the boundaries of rocket capabilities, but also laid the foundation for subsequent advances in space rocket technology and the exciting era of space exploration that followed. In the field of space exploration, its pioneering spirit continues to inspire innovation and discovery, shaping the future of human exploration of new territories beyond our planet. The Flying Bombs, V-1 In the crucible of Nazi Germany's vengeance weapons program, we encounter the Flying Bombs V-1 unconventional yet ingenious creations. They symbolize the relentless pursuit of innovative weapons by wartime German scientists and engineers. Let's explore the capabilities of this unique war machine. Jet-powered cruise missile. The V-1, often called the Buzz Bomb, or Doodlebug, was developed in Nazi Germany's laboratories as an innovative pulse jet-powered cruise missile. The V-1 featured a pulse jet engine, known for its intermittent combustion that produced the distinctive buzz bomb sound. It measured around 8.32 meters, 27.3 feet, in length, had a 5.37 meter, 17.6 feet, wingspan, and carried an 850 kilogram, 1,870 pound, warhead designed for impact damage. The V-1 flying bomb had two gyroscopes, for roll and pitch. The yaw was controlled by a magnetic compass. Altitude was controlled by a barometric pressure sensor. Controlled by an early autopilot system with gyroscopic stabilization, flight followed a pre-programmed trajectory, and ground ramps or catapults were used for launch. With a top speed of about 640 km per hour, 400 miles per hour, and a maximum range of about 240 kilometers, 150 miles. It could reach targets in England from continental European launch sites. It became the world's first cruise missile, a huge leap in technological development during World War II. Terror Weapon The V-1 was principally conceived as a terror weapon, designed to instill dread in the hearts of Allied civilians. Launched from secret ramps in France, its primary targets were cities in the United Kingdom, most notably London. Inaccurate yet effective. While the V-1's accuracy pales in comparison to contemporary guided missiles, its sheer numerical superiority and psychological impact wreaked havoc in London and other designated areas. The V-1 flying bomb stands as the precursor to contemporary cruise missiles and unmanned drones, serving as the catalyst for the development and evolution of these critical technologies in modern warfare. Allied Countermeasures The Allies orchestrated a gamut of countermeasures to intercept and neutralize V-1 missiles. This encompassed deploying fighter aircraft and anti-aircraft defenses, sparking the embryonic stages of air-to-air -air guided missiles. Historical Significance The V-1, despite its infrequent wartime use, serves as a compelling testament to the innovation and, at times, desperate measures undertaken by Nazi Germany in the closing chapters of World War II. The strategic impact of the flying bomb was limited, and it couldn't change the course of the war. Instead, it serves as a stark reminder of the lengths to which a desperate regime would go in its final, futile attempts to stave off defeat. Preservation in Museums While V-1 buzz bombs remain rare, select artifacts have found a home in museums and historical sites. These relics offer a glimpse into the technological accomplishments and strategic visions of their era. The emergence of the V-1 flying bomb represents extraordinary and daring initiatives, revealing the unconventional and sometimes frantic measures adopted by Nazi Germany as World War II drew to a close. Her later influence on post-war rocket and space technology underscores its historical significance, leaving an indelible legacy in the annals of military and space exploration. As we explore the fascinating world of secret developments in aviation and rocket science during Nazi Germany, we discover amazing aircraft and unique weapons such as the Horton Ho 229. 
Messerschmitt Mi-262 V-1 Flying Bombs and the Arado AR-234. The experimental airplanes and missile weapons developed during this time had an indelible impact on future technology. Ways of warfare, and some of them can still be seen in museums and still amaze aviation enthusiasts and history buffs.